That's an out, Pluto. That's an out. Fuck all the cars, you're right on their ass, we tryna get cash, ayy But roll up a guard, how right in the traffic, we doin' the dash, ayy We got them on cleanup, don't touch a procedure, we gettin' it fast, ayy We tryna break even and do it with reason, just don't wanna crash, ayy Pull up, we light up that perk, see the hard work on my shirt Sweatin' his eyes, let's be the vibe, baby just tryna get word Hard you be smellin' this gas Yo, what's going on, Jarvis Squad, Chase Way back with another video in today's video, we back with another investing video. Uh, it's a few things that I want to show y'all. I know I did say we was going to go back to how we used to do it, but I want to make it a little bit easier for us. So I want to show y'all something really, really cool. I saw it in an Instagram, uh, an Instagram reel, and it was just like, dang, I ain't even know nothing about this. So. I want y'all to all go to that first link in the description. Uh, the website is called Open Insider, and I'm gonna uh, go on and put this on the on the screen for y'all. So hold up one second. Three, two, one. That's oh, that was kind of offbeat. So let's go back. Three, two, one. Let's go. All right, it's recording. So this is Open Insider. And I'm going to show y'all what it look like. I guess I'm going to show y'all what it look like when you first pull it up. So when you first pull it up, this is the main screen. And this is what it, it informs you. It lets you know what companies then bought what and what sold what. And then here's the kicker. Uh, if you go to uh, top and you click top of Fisher's purchase past week. You get to see what all major companies that didn't purchase, what they didn't purchase for this whole week. I don't know what this X column stands for, but with the filing date, the trade date, the ticker, the company, the insider name, the title, the trade type, the purchase, the quantity, how many shares they own, and what was the value. This is pretty, inf like, this is kind of like some good information. I'm not gonna I'm not gonna uh I'm not gonna make it make this a big deal, but we're gonna talk about it every day. So I'm not gonna be like new such and such technique. If you know, you know. It's pretty much gonna be like we're gonna get up in here, we're gonna sit we're gonna we're gonna do some speculate. We're gonna do some speculate. So what I did was top purchase of today. So we're gonna take a look at what was bought today. So you got uh Greenbrier that was bought today. You got DNB that was bought by Jabari Hish Hishbar. Uh, you got Barbara Cox, Wilcox Enterprise. Matter of fact, let's look at some of these companies. I don't know nothing. Oh, this is what this means. So S means sell, sell securities or exchange to another person. So. Da -da -da. Okay, so that's what that P means purchase. Purchase of securities of exchange and turn. Okay, what do M stand for? Multiple transactions and filing. Okay, DM. Der. The favor. I'm not even gonna stress myself out. That's what we're gonna do. Say D E V. D E R D E R I B Derivative Derivative I think that's what it is Derivative 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 Derivatives Oh, derivatives. I would never derivatives. My brain couldn't process, process that for nothing. Der derivative derivatives. Okay. My bad. I'm pretty sure that probably made it a little bit better for y'all too to read. But yeah, this is kinda dope. So uh guess what we about to do? We are about to open up a new tab and we about to go to stock charts. 
that's what we about to do. We about to go see what make these companies so good. So let's go over here. You got GPX. Let's put that right there so we can go back and forth. Okay, you got GPX. Let's see what this looking like. Oh, why they bought this at the high though? Hmm. So it's not a good time to get in that company. Uh, what's the next one? DMB. DMB. Ooh. That's a stock right there. You got Dunn and Broad Street Holding. I don't know anything about this company, but. So you won't invest in blind. Look it up. Look it up. DMB. Okay, it just sold off major. I like where that's going. Yeah, I like where that's going. Uh, what's next? BW. Why do I keep doing that? Mm -hmm. it, it's, it ain't nothing but $7.75 cent though. Mm. It, is at, it is at a high. So it's either going to continue to increase or it's going to go down. But this look like it, it's at its all time high. But they did purchase this today. And how many they bought? Oh, they bought it for $5.85 cent. Dang, that was a good profit. So they bought it at five dollars. Okay, we gotta take that in consideration. They bought it at five dollars and eighty-five cent. Hmm. So kind of. So so far, D and D and B is about the best one to get into by just going by following the RSI. Uh, w N E B. W N E B. Oh, it dipped a little bit. It normally stays around 589. Okay. And how many shares did they buy? They bought it at $7.74. Okay, and what was it at? It closed at $7.55. So it ain't too far. But it was still, they still made some profit. $7.73. 73 so they lost a little bit of money just to 73 hold on yeah they lost a little bit of money they own 13 percent of that share dang western new england i'm gonna have to add that to my to my uh so this is what we need to do let's go ahead and go to weeble okay well this is what we're gonna do we're gonna sign in. That's what we're gonna do. We're gonna sign me in. So this is my watch list. So this is what we need to do. Delete. 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 Let me make this note. You can't just easy delete this, but it's all right. Delete. 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 So, what was that signal? This we got. We got DMB. You got DMB. Go add that to our watch list. And then we got WNEB. Hold on. I believe that's yep, WNEB. WNEB. Uh, 
Okay. What's next? Those the only two that we got so far. Oh, I gotta show y'all my company. I gotta show y'all what my company. Alright. So this is what I picked up so far. Uh I did put some money in, so that's why my buying power is low. Uh Nokia is down. OGI, I did get in. I bought it for around like six dollars and twenty seven cents. You see it cut off almost half but it's down 36 percent which is okay uh they all under five dollars and like i said i'm starting off slow so i only have 104 dollars invested and this is only uh six percent of how much money that i make weekly from just truck driving not including anything else and i just wanted to start over start my portfolio slow so two companies that's on my watch list is WNEB and DNB. Um, and I'm going to let y'all find the other stocks. Y'all see how simple it is. I don't want to keep these videos long, but check out those two companies and I'm going to just leave it right there. I just want to say thank y'all for watching. And uh, now we can check in on this pretty much Monday through Friday, seeing what stocks are good to buy and uh we're gonna be working out smart so that way we can we can think about the long-term game get in with some of these companies that instead of the hot stock let's get into these stocks that uh that's gonna bring us more money in in the long term instead of i mean both strategies work but since i'm pacing myself slowly i'm gonna buy these stocks slowly uh when the rsi is at the bottom it's going to take a little longer. It's going to take a while for it to climb up. So that's why it gives me a good head start to start acquiring different shares and things like that. I'm um, trying to keep of a stock that's like $20 or lower. Probably one stock, two stock. Because I only have like $50 to play with. And um, I'm going to just keep it like that. I did sell my Naked Brand stocks. So uh, it... I just about to say it depends. I did sell my naked brand stock, so with that being said, I invested into some weed stocks, the uh, weed industry, and those those did go up, but I didn't sell. I just wanted to stay because I do want to build my portfolio and start adding and things like that. And say if nothing, like say if one week it's not going too good, then I can go back to old stocks and start accumulating different shares like that. One thing about Weeble though, it does not allow you to invest in fractional shares. So uh, Cash App might not have these. Robinhood will, because you know you can invest in fractional shares on Robinhood. But um, yeah, I just want to keep my money in Weeble. Uh, I would I really want to fund of what uh, what Robinhood did with everybody, but I still might buy because they might not have limited on purchasing some of these shares those are just for the uh the running gun the pump and dump people so i might not be too off on robin hood let everybody run away then you know just stick with it because since i still can invest in fractional shares i might just go ahead and do that because i do got 20 i'm gonna put robin hood on here too and keep it all in here instead of my phone yeah i got some planning to do thank y'all for watching i'll see y'all another video